It's been troubled from the start and some estimate the NBN could end up costing taxpayers around $90 billion. And now the telecommunications ombudsman says there's been a spike in complaints over the past year. Nick Etchells reports. When the internet drops out, it's annoying. When you use it to treat psychiatric patients, it's potentially life-threatening. Today, uh, I uh, got to work and there was no internet. Dr Ollie Kay relies on the NBN to treat patients in remote areas, sometimes in crisis situations. It drops out daily. No calls, no internet. It's, it's actually life-threatening. Uh, that some of these crises could uh, could lead uh, to uh, a death of somebody. We're not happy with anybody not getting a great service on board the NBN network. And there are a lot. The latest report from the Telecommunications Ombudsman shows complaints against the NBN have risen 160 per cent. Yeah, it is a big increase at a time when the, the rollout is increasing too. Look, it is concerning. The NBN's defenders blame the huge scale of the project. Uh, what we're seeing is that uh, complaints about the NBN uh, are rising pretty much in line with the rollout of the NBN. But is that true? Well, no. According to the Ombudsman's report, the rate of complaints has far outstripped the rollout rate. In fact, between January and June this year, the number of unhappy customers quadrupled. There is good news for anyone whose complaints have bounced from telco to NBN and back again. They've finally recognised that they need to stop the ping-ponging of blame game and finger pointing. That's why we're working really hard with our retailers and our delivery partners to smooth things out where things are going wrong. Which seems to be quite often. Nick Etchells, 10 Eyewitness News.